Hello everyone, so I am back for my craft design examination and let us now start. So before answering sets of questions, I'll be sharing you a situation or a scenario first. So an old woman loves to collect ceramic kitchenware to be used in their house. She has many sets of uh, ceramic cookware, utensils, and tableware. She has been collecting such since her retirement. So the first question is, what do you think is are the type or types of ceramics that she collected? Why do you say so? Justify your answer. So because she's been collecting um, kitchenware, so I believe that the type of ceramics that are used are stoneware and porcelain because uh, these type of ceramics are good for kitchenware or suitable for kitchenware because they are durable and they are they don't easily break. Second one, why do you think that she choose to collect such type or types of ceramics? Cite two reasons and elaborate each in two to three sentences. So these types of ceramics are durable. It is not easy to break and various aesthetics can be can also be applied to beautify the um, kitchenware and I believe that uh, using ceramic cookware or kitchenware to be specific uh, kitchenware in general are uh, good because even if it is a little bit costly but it will still survive even after a um, long period of time Number three, how are ceramics used in the given situation? And this kind of is this is the kind of ceramic used with its purpose? Justify your answers by providing facts. So the ceramics that are give are used in given in the given situation is it is used as a kitchenware. So the ceramics that they use suit its purpose because um, stoneware and porcelain are fired in a higher temperature, which make which makes them um, durable and um, good suitable for kitchenware number four if you are an old woman you will you continue collecting those types of ceramics why cite two reasons and explain each in two to three sentences so if I'll be an old woman I will not continue collecting these types of ceramics first because I will use the money for an investment to gain income since as uh, stated I am a so I need to earn a living and lastly it will not be of you especially if I will pass away so who will have that one and I believe that um, few is enough to um, cater the needs when we are eating or when when we have um, visitors and the second um, sets of question uh, you are planning to make a building that uses the natural light from the Sun to function as the light of the entire building during daytime you designed your building and you decided to use glass as for some parts of the roof windows and walls enough for the light to pass through okay so the first question what type of glass should you use why what is the characteristic of that glass that make it suitable for the building cite your reasons and elaborate in two to three sentences so if i'll be making a or i'll be a building um a building i will build a building so i will use solar control glass for the roof windows or even for the walls because other adding solar control glass to a building can be a great way to improve the energy efficient efficiency by minimizing the need for air conditioning or heating and therefore reducing uh, energy bills and this glass is designed to work with the weather outside so that it keeps uh, heat out during um, periods of hot weather and but keeps uh, heat inside during cold weather and it will also be uh, you don't also need to turn on the lights so that uh, for you to have enough lighting because you can just get it that from the sun the third one a uh, number two question brother which among the types of fiber and textile craft do you find unique what makes it unique among the other types of fiber and textile craft provide two reasons justifying its uniqueness in elaborate in two to three sentences so i find lace making unique because it is a dainty uh, fabric that is usually made up of a thread and yarn and it looks very delicate the process is um, a little bit hard and in my point of view it's uh, the delicate of the 
fabric makes it very beautiful and overpowering. Number four, among the potential sources of health hazards in fiber craft, what do you think is the most dangerous one and why? Justify your answers by providing an example situation. So I believe that chemical is the most dangerous among the potential sources of health hazard in fiber craft. So it is dangerous because it can lead to more serious health conditions. So when it is inhaled, um, touch or um, eaten, uh, this will cause various diseases that is very harmful for an individual. Next, why do we need to observe some precautionary measures in dealing with fiber and textile craft? Give two reasons and elaborate each in two to three sentences. So we need to observe some precautionary measures in dealing with fiber and craft because um, it will keep us safe. We will avoid the risk of getting, getting harm if we are cautious. Second, one episode of unstrained lifting of uh, a heavy object can cause injury to the spine so slight negligence can greatly influence you or your workmate and the workplace itself that is why we need to uh, observe precautionary measures over time and next one uh, what principle of floral floral design was used in that bouquet? Explain your answer briefly. So I believe that with them is uh, the floral the principle of floral design that is used in this bouquet because when we say with them it gives us an illusion that the flower arrangement have movement and it also has symmetrical balance because what we can see on the other side mirrors the other side as well. And the last principle of design that was used is the harmony because the color, the sizes of each flower coincide with each other. The second uh, question under number six is what type of wedding bouquet it is. Justify your answer by giving the concrete observation. So uh, that type of wedding bouquet, it is a shower bouquet. So the arrangement of the flower are continuous creating a showering look of the bouquet. Number three, will you recommend this bouquet, wedding bouquet to a friend? Ex why? Explain in two to three sentences. So I would not highly recommend this one um, to be of use for my friend because it is not very handy. The size is a little bit big and um, it needs a uh, much effort to carry this one all the time. So number four, why do you think what do you think are the steps in making this kind of wedding bouquet? Give the steps in chronological order. So first you need to prepare the flowers and the tools that you will be needing in making this kind of bouquet. The second one envision how the bouquet will look like. So you should not just put everything in it. You should have a clear image of how the bouquet will look like. Third, uh, start arranging the flowers. Uh, start from the middle and going outwards. Um, number four, fill out the gaps with flower, leaves, or ornaments that blends with the design. So if there are a little bit of gaps, so you can just insert flowers or leaves, but you have to make sure that um, it would still look great. Uh, thank you so much. That would be all. Bye!